Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is gonna be the first vlog of 2023 of my year long challenge of making a new photo shoot every single week until 2024. So to start it off, we're gonna kick it off with this. So this is just a spinner that's gonna help me decide what I'm gonna shoot each week rather than me having to pick it myself. So a dark photo shoot. I have nothing really, I have no inspiration or anything ready for this one. I'm really hoping for editorial because I want to do something funner for the first week of the year. But do what we gotta do. So I really just spent the rest of the day looking at dark art, like um, through Pinterest, Instagram, whatever I could really find. Um, I saw something by a guy named Steven Rhodes who does a lot of illustration. It's kind of hard to explain. So I'm just gonna put it on the screen and show you. But I like how he incorporates children in his in his um, illustrations. However, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to steal his flow. I'm going to change it up a little bit. I'm going to use the perception of a kid in mine. And I thought of the idea of having like a Grim Reaper at the door. So I just got to find a costume and get a model. And I think this is going to be a pretty easy shoot for the week. So it's day four. I spent all yesterday getting my model, who will be my dean, and I talked to Z, who's another great photographer. I made a mistake. All the cloaks that I bought online won't be here by the 8th, which defeats the purpose of this video. If it's just, they won't be here by the 8th. So, I can't make it, I can't buy it. There's no stores in Huntsville that sell Halloween costumes in January. So it looks like I'm gonna to have to change my idea, which is still okay, because last night I was watching the movie, I think Hereditary, I guess what it was, new movie. And there's a part where Charlie the little girl is in class and she looks out the window, she sees her dead grandma waving at her. And I think that's a good scene to use, a good inspiration and make it darker. I don't know how yet, but since I already have my model and he's modeling for me tomorrow, I have to choose something in a hurry. So this isn't even 10 minutes later. I just drove to Hobby Lobby. We're out here in the parking lot. But on the way here, I thought that idea of them standing outside where Charlie looks at her grand dead grandma or whatever, it reminds me of the hash, the hash slinging slasher, however you say it. And I'm like, okay, that's some SpongeBob. If I thought of it now, people are gonna think of it when they see the picture. I thought of a poncho. What does a poncho look like? A cloak. Perfect. I can go buy some a poncho, probably like five dollars. I can find some cloth, just some shirts I don't wear, tear them up, throw them on top. It's gonna. Mm, let's see how this works. Let's see. If it doesn't come out good, you know, it's my first time. Fuck it, right? Let's let's go see. So. Just got back from Walmart and it picked up this uh, poncho. When you look up the Grim Reaper, you always see him wear with two things, a cloak and a scythe. I don't have any big metal pieces, so we're gonna do what we have. You'll see, we're gonna Photoshop magic this and it's gonna look great, trust. But now that I have the poncho and I have the clothes that I need, all they have to do now is make the scythe. Or this, yeah, the scythe. I'm gonna make it out of cardboard and I'm gonna Photoshop it later to make it look like an actual blade. So, all we're doing is watch the TV. So, let's get to work. This is literally just so I can see it when I'm editing the actual blade in. So it's not even gonna be a big problem. It's not big enough. I mean, so we're done for the day for sure. I'm tired. <laughs> all right, so we all set, you know what I'm saying? Got all my equipment, everything we need. Got my model right over here. Let's say hi, Dean. What's good? It's your boy Jared in the cut. Oh, I didn't even call my beard. You don't need to. Okay. Yeah, you be green. So, first thing we gotta do is get the poncho set up. 
I'm not going to cap. I thought there were going to be sleeves on the poncho. But luckily, he's already wearing black, so it's going to cover that up. So we're going to put the poncho on, tear up some clothes, put them on him, and we're going to see how it looks. All right, so we got the poncho on him. Now, what I did was I just threw like a mucho libre type shirt on him, just cut up on the sides. I'm just going to distress it right here, cut it off, dress all around. And that's going to be like the second layer of the cloak. Did you say mucho libre? Yeah, mucho libre. Mucho libre. Oh, same thing. So, what you have to do is the side. Not bad. It looks very grim reaper. Alright, babe. Alright. So, we have to switch cameras just so I can take pictures clearly. So I just went ahead and finished this photo shoot. It looked pretty good to me, but I was looking at the camera, so when I went through them again, we'll see. Um, how do you feel about the photo shoot? How did you feel? It went great for me. I was a great model, one of the best ones he's ever had in his life. You should book me again. I should book him again, because he was perfect for this role. Um, big yeah. and scary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you put me for a reason, nigga. So, I'm gonna go ahead and show him the pictures now. And then I'm gonna get to edit them tomorrow because tomorrow is day seven, which or day six. I actually don't know, but I'm running out of time and I have to finish this video, this picture should now. Day seven now. Um, just finished the pictures maybe ten minutes ago. Spent all last night editing them. Um, I'll be honest, I don't like the picture, but I'll go ahead and here it is. Um, I give this 4 out of 10. I give those 4 points solely off of my work in Photoshop. This was literally, when I saw the picture, I liked it a lot. My model did a great job. I just think I could have done a better job building the set rather than just being at a doorway. It could have been something better. It could have been maybe at a cemetery. I had, there were so many better options that I just missed out on. I kind of have to just live with it, roll, spin the wheel again, get another category, and just hopefully I'll do better the next time. Here goes the original compared to the final draft. I am very disappointed with the project just because I had a lot more ambition on coming in, but I just think I did too much in Photoshop to make the picture really the quality that I really wanted to. But if you made it to the end of the video, thank you for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see y'all next week.